Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to talk about single slit diffraction, but in a little bit more detail. Now, we're going to have a little bit of a quantitative approach to this. So what you see over here, right, is of course a wave over here that is going to diffract through this little slit over here, right? And then what you will see is a pattern forming on the screen some distance away like this. Now, um, the way to describe this, uh, this uh, entire process okay, is through a certain equation, right? And it goes something like this, sine theta equals to lambda over p. Now, so lambda is the wavelength of the wave that's being diffracted over here. B, of course, is your slit width. Now, theta is this angle over here. It's defined as the angle that is subtended by this straight through line that I'm going to highlight over here and the line from the slit to the first minimum. So there we are, this is the first minimum over here. So of course you could use this line as well. Okay, you're gonna get the same angle. Okay, you're, I mean, you could use uh, this line over here. You will get the same angle, you see that's not very interesting. Okay, so here we are, very interesting. Uh, and so what's going to happen, of course, this should make sense now. Remember, if we make our slit width smaller, so if we make B smaller, okay, then of course you expect your diffraction to be better. So let's make B smaller over here. So B over here gets a little bit smaller. Okay, and then of course what this means, of course, is that your theta will get larger, which basically indicates that your spread is getting bigger, right? Because this would move here, right? And uh, this would move this way, okay? And so that means your spread is getting larger. Now, um, another thing that you might want to take note of is this. In your single slit diffraction, okay, this width over here, right, we'll call this 2x, right? The width of the central maximum will be approximately double all the width of all the subsequent peaks or maxima that you form. Okay, so I'm just indicating this as uh, how it should be. Okay, and also take note of how large this intensity is compared to all the subsequent maxima. This is a, 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 a very important feature of single slit diffraction where your central maximum is very, very much more intense than all the other peaks.